Hello, in this video, we're going to be talking about the pelvic girdle. Let's not waste any of your time. Let's get right to it. Alright, when we're talking pelvic girdle, hey, one of the first things we want to emphasize is that we are talking about the topic that connects uh, the top of the body with the bottom of the body. That connection point, things from above are going to be connected to, things below are going to be connected to, so we are certainly uh, transitioning from the top uh, to the bottom with the, uh, the pelvic girdle. And as always, there's a lot of information to, to uh, collect, which will uh, be the focal point of uh, many of your test questions. Uh, what we're going to focus on is just the names uh, of the types, not the, the types of the different bones and uh, some of the sections. We've got a nice little color-coded version on one of our screens here that uh, will be nice. And of course, once we get on those day two activities, we'll be certainly uh, just uh, having a pelvic girdle right there and just say hey this is this this is this this is this and even in a particular bone the different sections the iliac crest and things like that so here we go so we certainly want to talk about or point out that you can see in the diagram way over there uh, beside me there that uh, that middle you can see if you look down through that big foreman in the uh, middle you can see the coccyx down there you can see the sacrum down there so that just kind of gives you a position uh, reference to where the pelvic girdle is. It, uh, it is not certainly below the vertebrae. It meets that bottom uh, part. And you can even see a little bit of a what appears to be a vertebrae at the very, very top. Um, yeah, but it, that's the idea. And then so the two hip bones, the coaxial bones, uh, they are fused uh, together with that bottom part of the uh, vertebrae, the sacrum area, and that's what uh, connects those. So, uh, so that that's a pretty pretty fused, solid uh, uh, bone area there. And of course, you can see the the elastic uh, cartilage right there in, in the front, uh, which you know designed to kind of give away a little bit, a little squeeze, a little con uh, constrict, contract kind of a thing. And of course, once we see the side view, you'll see the foreman's where the everything for the legs runs down through, like especially, certainly the bone and uh, any of the resources. Okay, so uh, j again, just some other information. And uh, for the most part, what we're going to point out is, well, one of the things we're going to look at is the difference between males and females. Uh, obviously, there's some uh, labor, uh, no pun intended, issues there that uh, uh, obviously have to be uh, dealt with. But again, it's just a, uh, as all these bones, lots of names, and we'll certainly hit on the uh, important one. But again, there's a reference to the joint, the sacroiliac joint that, that joins the hip bones, the vertebrae column, uh, the symposis. Uh, those are those interlying, li interlying areas uh, along the bridges that once we have it our hands on it we will uh, we will talk about that but that inlet uh, in the middle kind of where you know, you're looking down through it uh, all those are uh, super important and we will get to those uh, more in a, in a lab type setting <laughs> All right, so again, you always have these true-false uh, uh, situations. Uh, the, the flare of the hips, you can see those big uh, ridges uh, along the top, and that, you can actually feel those. You can feel that in there. Um, if you palpitate your, uh, your sides there. And then the purple area over to the very far right, that's a kind of a cross-section look. Uh, at that connection point inside I mean obviously your legs you know have a lot of uh, uh, moving forward moving backwards can do that kind of exercise walking 
running and of course you can push your leg backwards you know walking backwards that kind of stuff and we'll definitely see it on the next on the next screen uh, but there's that hip joint in there that's designed to be able to give your legs um, that movement of course we know the legs don't uh, they can go side to side you know at the foot and the knee level uh, but at that at that connection point it doesn't go side to side there's a little bit of wobble in there where you can you can uh, move your your foot uh, left or right cross over your feet that kind of stuff but here's one of the main uh, uh, distinctions that we want to talk about you can see it kind of color coded there there are three major areas uh, the ilium the ischium and then the, the uh, pubis you can see they're color coded there uh, and then the other aspect to to uh, consider is that you can see it you can see the circle kind of in the middle there you, obviously it's it's kind of the outside is kind of uh, um, made where you can see through it so you can see that circle but that's obviously your hip joint there and uh, begin the color coded and the ilium the largest part and the iliac crest and and again that's the part that you can see that's the part that you know as a as a uh, long time football coach when you wear those hip pads those things on the side that's what you're trying to that's the part that you're protecting there from taking a helmet uh, helmet right to and then the other two sections are in the lower half one in the front one in the back of that ring around uh, that allows all the resources nerves blood vessels and and uh, everything to run through uh, and of course of the you know of the distinct features of this you've got the iliatic crest which is that very tall ridge there you can see at the very very top uh, that ridge there and then you've got the big foreman uh, in the middle you know where all the resources again as I mentioned can run through so those are some key features And then here's the uh, information on the, the, the last two, the ischium and the pubis, uh, for you to collect, which will uh, possibly show up in a, in, a, in a test somewhere. So be sure you grab those, pause it, whatever you got to do. But we want to talk about our last big topic. Okay, are those differences between the male and the female uh, pelvic girdle? Uh, you can see obviously just from if you didn't know if it wasn't labeled you could uh, certainly tell from uh, uh, the information which was which was which but you can see that the female uh, pelvic girdle uh, in on the inward foreman the big circle in the middle that is much larger uh, than, than the male uh, the male is kind of more designed uh, to hold a, a heavier beefier body because you got to think about that pelvic girdle is it's kind of bowl shaped uh, it isn't just round like a like a cylinder like the thoracic cage was it's more of a bowl shape and everything kind of sits on that uh, as the it's a kind of a bottom support um, so it is, it is kind of you know as I mentioned bowl shaped uh, so but the female a uh, little bit lighter and a much wider uh, foreman there in the middle and that's for the obvious reasons of, of a childbirth a, uh, a uh, baby has to pass through that or offspring has to pass through that I mean if it's if it's kind of setting you know in the stomach area uh, it's got to pass through that uh, as one of the first uh, channels or places to uh, to get through and of course we know that's not the more serious of the two passages but enough about that and of course then you can see uh, the inlet angle is uh, again much wider on a on a female pelvic girdle again just with the idea of assisting uh, as it can with uh, with childbirth so that's our video over pelvic girdle when we come back together next time we're going to be talking about the lower limbs part one we'll see you then